I started playing uh, Rome Total War again, and uh, I'm, there's a mod modification for it called Viking Invasion 2. And um, well, so I I yeah I, uh, I downloaded that about a month ago, not a month ago, a year ago, and installed it on my desktop. Uh, and in the last year, throughout the many videos of my room, I've not really used my my desktop at all. I've only used it about four or five times and, and that was mostly in the latter half of the year just to play that mod because it was installed in there because I thought well it's going to be a bit of a hassle to download the entire thing so yeah I already got the saves on it so I, I went on there and then it occurred to me that uh, considering it's the only game that I know of the, the only modification of a game of, of that um, RTS scale that lets you play as the Welsh um, why not make it the first, uh, the first mod of a game of that of of that RTS scale, to be um, to be uh, playable through that medium. Um, so I've been translating um, huge amounts of of text in, in inside the text files inside the um, inside inside the all the folders, making all the unit names. Um, Having having their nouns as um, uh, the the native tongue of the of the nation that the unit is within, and the adjectives in Welsh, so uh, any descriptions can be understood but through the medium of Welsh, but the name is true to what it would have been. This is both for obviously gameplay but a, a historical accuracy, and also for the the small problem I had when I was um, testing out. Um, Saxons of the three Saxons that were uh, at the period, uh, Mercians, um, Northumbrians, and uh, well, Wessex. Yeah, of course, Wessex. And uh, what would happen was you would put your cursor over um, one of the units, and it would it would say spearman, and then it would have a square bracket, and then it would say spearman again, and then another square bracket to close it off. The first one would be the name of the unit specifically. The second one would be the type of unit. Now, when it comes to um, units like that, it, it seems it seemed a bit illogical to have um, <clears throat> the have spearmen and then spearmen again. I said, well, why don't you just have it once? And then I realised <clears throat> they they are actually different. Because one's the name and one's the type of unit, so I thought, well, I'll keep that integrity and that that that, that structure, and just make the the unit name um, uh, the type of unit in Welsh, and then keep keep the um, the spearman uh, as the actual name of the unit. But then later on, I got even more help from a member of the forum where I originally started it. And uh, he helped me find old English terms, and I mean old English. They've got like A's and E's joined together for um, things like archers. Now, archers uh, is an English word which is based on the shape of the bow, um, as you could probably tell for yourself. But um, it doesn't directly translate into the, any of the other languages or the races. Um, so if you go back into old english the name for for it was arrow bearers uh which is strial so um along with that and many other terms he helped me get that and uh i translated um all of the names and and researched um well researched very limitedly for for two of the um the two archer units um for the welsh i literally just um Took the game off the shelf, Medieval Total War Two, and looked up their their, their unit list because I remembered that they had Seithwir and Helwir, which is uh, shooters and hunters. So I took that, and then I, I and there's um, certain terms like spearmen, and then armored. Uh, they they were difficult because um, spearmen isn't really uh, a common um, commonly used word in, in Welsh dictionaries, modern ones anyway. So I had to look in, in certain old dictionaries. Um, right, here it is. I thought it was on the other side of the room, but it's not. Um, the Gariyar Maul. Um, 
it's got all sorts of antiquated terms and, and old terms just generally that have come out of use um, which is which is great because you can see where words came from um, uh, but uh, I, I looked up spear and then that said gwyr so I was like what if I want to make that plural I'd add a weir on the end so I did that and then I looked back in it about two weeks later after I'd put it in and everyone said it was fine and then I noticed next to the word there was a bracket which said mill weir which is military and then next to it it had um, a little line and then weir so so I was right so I was like oh great um, so uh, and then um, armoured armoured was really there's no there's no word for armoured you have to separate it into um, armor and then make it past tense uh, as an action that's already done so so I had to put armor and then put you on and then put weddy in front of it so it's all really complicated but the, the whole thing is making me learn mo loads of Welsh so that, that's been lots of my summer so far and I've got lots of in-game um, screenshots that you can request to see if you'd like um, as uh, the the webcam can't turn back on the laptop because the webcam is in the laptop so I can't run the game and record footage. Um. Thank you. 